welcome to the Kathy Raley Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Kathy Raley, head coach of the women's lacrosse team. Coach, you guys played against Albright last week, and you, know, you guys have been scoring about 20 goals a game in the last five. Uh, what really has been the reason for that offensive spark? You know, I think that the Lebanon Valley game really shook us. Um, we lost to a program we we have never lost to in the history of Stevenson women's lacrosse. And I think there was a tad bit of embarrassment. I think there was um, – we could have taken it one of two ways. One way could have been that we were got down on ourselves. The other way could be we need laser focus on how we're playing attack. We've got to play as a team. We cannot do it one at a time. And if we could achieve that balance scoring, you mm-hmm. know, multiple players with hat tricks, multiple players with over five goals, that we would be impossible to stop. So we were able to quickly turn that, use that loss as the kind of springboard to uh, focus in on what we needed to do for the remainder of the season. And that is take it to other teams. We're skilled, we're talented, we're fast. We need to go at other teams and not just wait for opportunities. We need to create opportunities. You certainly have created opportunity, and you've created an opportunity for yourself with an ability to secure the number two seed with a win today at right. Lycoming after starting 0 and 2 in the in the <laughs> conference. You know, it was a lesson learned. Sure, uh, but you guys still have that opportunity and. Darn, you're going to take it, right? We sure are. You know, this is going to be a battle today. Um, we're the away team. We have to travel far to get there. It's not a great day out, which can tend to be a great equalizer in the mm-hmm. sport of lacrosse. We are going to have to dominate the draws. We are going to have to capitalize on our free positions today. I think we have the better goalie. I think we have the better team defense. I think both offenses are capable of putting up good numbers. Um, Today is going to be a test on where we stand heading into the tournament, and I think we get today uh, that really helps us be motivated for Saturday. Saturday has proven to be such a big game for us in the grand scheme of the NCAA tournament. Uh, This is an exciting week for Stevenson women's lacrosse. Yeah, you talk about um, that Denison game that you're going to finish out this season at a neutral site. What do you know about them that – you know, and how big that game is going to be. You know, they move the ball well. Their defense is, can be really stifling. Uh, we're going to have to really tweak some things at practice this week uh, after today's game mm-hmm. on Wednesday and then again on Friday. We're going to have to really tweak some things because they play a different style of defense than what we're, we're typically seeing. I think with our ball movement and we bring a hot goalie and a really unified team defense, I don't think they're going to know what what, what hit them. Uh, They do not play the kinds of teams that we play out here. So they're not going to be used to seeing what we have to bring. Uh, What you have to bring is three outstanding seniors on the offensive side, plus all the young youth and quickness on the defensive side and that hot goalie that you've been talking about. Yeah. You know, we, we have, and everybody's been contributing. You know, we've got uh, we have our usual people who have been contributing all season. You, Tori Bruno's really stepped it up in the last couple of games to to put some goals in. I, I'm so curious to see how she's going to do today. Mm-hmm. Gets a little tougher D, and how she'll do on Saturday. I think she I think she has the confidence to really be a, a difference maker along with the other seniors on attack. Um, the midfield is just we've got a flow going in the midfield mm-hmm. now, which really shows in our transition. You moving Hannah Tankersley to midfield, that kind of defensive midfield position has made an enormous difference in our transition. And she's tall; she's got the long legs. She, she can get out there pretty she quick. Does. And she, you know she's capable of of scoring. Yeah. Sometimes I think she comes off the field where I'd really like to see her join as part of that fast break mm-hmm. and and draw a defender uh, because she has that capability to shoot over. She sure does. Yeah. I think a lot of the defenders. And midfielders have that ability to yes. get down there and you know get that shot on goal, we which do, is a we lot have of fun. Quite a few. They love to do it. <laughs> yeah, they love to do we it. Love yes. It. <laughs> yes. Well, coach, we wish you the best of luck today and the rest of the week when Thanks. you finish out on the road. Great. Thank you very much. She's Kathy Raley. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Kathy Raley Show.